Hello everybody, Tom here, coming back at you with another sculpting demonstration. In this uh, little demo, I'm going to be doing a lizard. Uh, it, it's like a lizard on a branch. This particular log I made for this, it's uh, colored clay, some Primo, and it's got an aluminum core. And the only thing I did different is I put some nuts and bolts in the bottom part of it to keep it you know the base heavy and the lizard that I'm starting here it has an aluminum core even the head has a little piece of aluminum in it this is all to cut down on the weight a little bit and um, this should be a fast demonstration being that it's such a small project but uh, in this video you'll see me get the foil the shape that I need and and how the methods I use to make the belly it's kind of got a belly on it and it's got that spine or a ridge in the back so it's very interesting I started the sculpture off rolling up some uh, aluminum foil basically rolling into a little log and tapering the end to where the tail is going to be then I pre-fitted it on the log to get the angles that I needed because it's not quite flat like the table on the log where I'm going to be putting it and then I rolled out some uh, polymer clay. This is original Sculpey, which is the cheaper stuff. And I used the thickest setting on the pasta machine. The purpose of the armature is to actually support the clay because when it comes out of the oven, it's super soft. And if it's not supported, it'll sag or crack or both. It'll just, it won't turn out right. This, it has to be supported. So that's pretty much the purpose of that. Plus, it saves you clay when you bulk out the areas with foil. So, and then what I'm doing here is I'm actually cutting two rectangular pieces that are matching to attach to the sides where I want the belly to be. Uh, this, this too is also the thickest setting on the pasta machine. Uh, and I, I went two ply, meaning I, I used two pieces on each side. So basically it's twice the thickness of the thickest setting on the pasta machine. And I basically took the edges on the top side is the main important part the bottom is not too important because on this particular sculpture it's going to be up against the the branch but once I rounded it off pretty good up at the tops of both sides I took a little extra clay and ran it in there almost like you would like with caulking this is to make the the actual contour between the belly and that ridge on the back to more fluid like and then I shaped a little piece of a head basically made a triangle and I opened it up and stuck some foil in there and closed it and I will be attaching this with a piece of uh, copper wire uh, but this is pretty much it on this first demonstration it's time for the comment question yo what's happening everybody I get some color I'm so excited but I need to know what color you think I should be. Now keep in mind that my branch is pretty dark, so I need to be a light color. So you can let me know in the comments below. They're down there. Down there. Anyhow, I'm looking forward to what you say, and you can let me know in the comments below. Yo. I appreciate y'all for checking this video out. It means a lot. If you're curious how this log was constructed, just follow the link that you see on the screen. It'll take you right to the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.